So hello everybody, Convert with more standard always out. If you have never heard about this tool, it's a totally free and open source multi-sample converter which already supports lots of different formats which you can pick as a source format and convert it to a destination format. It supports software as well as some hardware devices and people kept asking me about supporting as well the this thing EX. If you never have heard about the Disting EX, it's a modular module, what a nice word, a modular module which provides tons of different algorithms. I think in single mode or in dual mode it's about 80 different ones and in single mode it's also about 10 or 20 different ones. So lots of stuff to choose from like oscillators, filters, modulators and lots of other stuff. But the interesting mode for us or algorithm as it's called is a SD multi sample so it runs in single mode which means it uses all the parts all the input and output parts and the full processing power to provide an eight voice polyphonic sample player as well as a multi trimple so we can also use three layers of multi-timple sounds. If you go CV, you will have these two inputs combined. So these provide the first CV input, these two the second, and these two the third. So you can play three different sounds via CV, or you can get such a MIDI extender here with the small MIDI plugs, but you get also 15-one, which has then only two connectors. So only the upper twos here are connected. So if you would get two more distinct EX, you can then also use these two and these two for the second or your third distinct EX. So I connected here an input and loaded already a multi-sample and so you can play it here from my keyboard and you will also always see nicely light up which outputs I use. So here you have also other options which you can configure what you want to do with the inputs and outputs. So there's also lots of more options which you can choose from. So how do we get the samples in there? Let's first have a look at Convert with MOS. So here is it in the nice and shiny version 10. And both as a source, you can pick Expert Sleepers Disting EX as well as a destination. And yeah, let's pick as usual my lovely pads from my contact, uh, my own library. And there are some settings here for this thing. These are the usual uh, wave file options, which you should absolutely use the sample one so that the sample chunk contains the unity node, the pitch fraction, as well as the loops which are read by the this thing so the loops are read from here and are not in the preset and another thing you should also do is to limit the resolution to 16 bit and 44.1 kilohertz it can play also higher bit resolutions as well as higher frequencies but then the processing power is higher and you will get less voices more on that in a second as well so let's just here run the software and you will see it will convert nicely all that stuff let's just close that down and have a look at the result ah, something i forgot to mention you can only copy them on the sd card on the top level so you should deactivate this one so that all the presets and the samples land on the upper folder structure so otherwise you need to fish it from the subfolders and this just saves you some work if you deactivate this option and now we will have a look at the output. So as you see, we have here the results of the conversion of these pads and you get one folder with the samples. So here are samples name. And this is also the information that is necessary to have this format for the disting. So you need to have this note name first only with sharp notes in there and then you have this switch where the next sample starts in the key range and that's a limitation of the distinct EX algorithm it does not have a lower and upper key range you have only this switch so we have basically only an upper limit and then for the next sample the upper limit of the previous sample is the lower key range border of the of this next sample so you 
you have basically only one separator and not two but nevertheless it does the job for a simple setups and you have also besides that not with that one but you if the source sample contains for example round robins they have also a format which can be added here and also if you have different velocity layers they will also be added here but also similar a bit like that the velocity layers have only an index so you can for example have velocity layer one two and three and then the this thing automatically distributes them uh, via the 128 possible values or 127 to be exact and you cannot have individual velocity settings so this will be done automatically also a bit of a limitation but nevertheless also does the job for some plain samples which you want to bring into your modular system so what you need to do then is copy it over to the SD card and that's a bit of a fiddly thing so here you see is a little SD card or maybe you don't see it at all getting it out is a bit a bit flimsy you need to be with your fingernails you need to pick it there and then you can let's try from that side so here's the SD card and there you need to copy over these files and also the presets files on the top level so you cannot create a subfolder which would be for example called pads this will not be found then by the distinct so they all need to be on the top level and then you need to fumble it in again let's try that again you need to push it again with the fingernail to get it in again okay so how does it work first you need to be sure that you have the SD multi sample algorithm selected in the single mode I guess if you have one you know how to use that and then you have here the option to select and load presets and you can store up to 256 in the device itself or it can be loaded from the card which we will do now so here we are load from sd card press that and here you will see i have here 24 different presets on there and these are the pads and then we can for example load one simply by pressing it and it will load a bit it will actually not load the samples into memory they are always streamed from the sd card so it's very very important that you have a fast sd card but also fast does not mean fast all the time check the manual for some hints what to get and what to buy <laughs> And then you hear it's already struggling and I noticed if you have stereo samples in there you need to reduce the polyphony. It works fine if you have only mono samples. It plays all the eight voices very nicely. If you have stereo you already need to limit the number of voices so there is this maximum voices settings which i set in the preset to eight but you should reduce it then to five and then it will play nicely <laughs> And what will be taken over from a source patch is you will get the envelope. So maybe we can have a look at all these different parameters. It's over, oh no, it's exactly 80 parameters, I think. So first ones are some at 10, what is that word? At 10 worders, which you can say the input signal strength you can adjust that but it starts to get interesting with seven so here you pick the folder which contains your sample so the preset does not contain the individual sample names but instead you just pick one folder from your sd card and all the samples in there are loaded and from that the this thing automatically creates by using these hints in the names i showed you will create the multi sample and i also need to Add that the latest version which was online when I created I think it's one two four something yeah firmware has a bug which has a issue in comparing the folder names you should look out for a new firmware version it's 1.25 and this one fixes this issue and the comparison of the folder will then be correctly before that for example if it had loaded before a preset with a longer name and then after the shorter name it will fail so <laughs> definitely make sure you get version 
25. So, but let's move on. Here you pick the folder and then you have envelope for the amplitude and this will also be taken over from a source preset. You can set the usual things, attack, decay and sustain. Maybe we can increase the release a bit. So here's a nice pad release, which is already a little bit too long maybe. Let's go with that. And then you can do transpositions, octave, up and down, do more transpositions by individual nodes, or do fine tuning. Fine tuning is also only available for the whole patch, not for individual samples. You have a gain setting, so you can adjust the different presets to the uh, same levels. You get a bit of a saturation setting. Another sustain thing, which allows you that the uh, node sustain forever. If you have that need, the max voices, we already had that. You can do pitch bending as well. That's also interesting, pitch bending. So all the basic MIDI stuff is working. You can do pitch bending modulation wheel as well as sustain pedal. So I hold the sustain pedal. This is also working nicely. And yeah, let's move on with that. What else do we have? Pitch bend again. You can detune the different eight voices if that is to your liking. And you can also create chords and as well as an arpeggiator. Or you can also load different scales. You don't have to use the natural ones. You can add the two other layers. So here you simply pick another folder and another folder and then you can use three different sounds and they are also available on different media channels. So you could also create such a setup with that and you can limit notes again. And what is more interesting is the delay mode. So delay is pretty nice. So you can do stereo and ping pong delay. <laughs> Not too clearly visible with a pad, but you can also use it if you take the time down. It creates also a nice reverb. Ooh, a nice effects when you turn them down. As well as you have, sorry, as well as you have an equalizer, so you can increase the bass or reduce it as well as the travel and then some more not that interesting parameters up to 80 so maybe let's show, show you something else let's load a preset which is a piano sound and these contains three velocity layers as well but only mono samples so this plays nicely as well with eight notes and you can also use the hold pedal. Okay, that's another trick you need to, to look into is that there is another setting for sustain mode. And if you want to, here is the parameter 69 is the sustain mode. And if you want to have the normal piano behavior that you can play the note again, when you keep the whole pedal press, you need to set it to one, which will be the default also in my created presets. So then you can repeat the note and play a little bit nicer. And maybe you could also increase the gain settings. So you see that's a bit of a drawback. If you want to change a parameter, it's quite a bit of scrolling you need to do going through the different settings and where is gain there. But you get used to that. You need to increase the gain here. That's better. And with that, we can also much better hear the delay. Where is the delay again? Here's the delay mode. Let's put that to ping pong. So here you can clearly hear that. You can also turn it down.
So, pretty neat way to get your samples into the disting, also multi samples, and you can for sure also use the CV gate inputs to do the controlling, but then you are down to one single node. If you are not using all three inputs, then you can play up to three nodes and even with different sounds. But if you select the different sounds, you have different folders, all the other parameters will be the same for the three different sounds. So that's also something to keep in mind. Nevertheless, if you need multi-samples in your modular system, that's a really great way to get them into there and you can pretty easily convert your libraries with Converted Moss to the disting now. And tell me what you think about it. Also, since I have the module here, are you interested in seeing other modes there? It also contains the full mutable instruments. I think it's the, the braids as well as the plates modes are in there. So pretty powerful oscillator. If you are curious about that or other modes in there, just tell me down in the <laughs> down in the comments what you like to see. And if you like it, dig it and how you use it, I'm also curious about that one. And until next time, make some funky music.